As we've been reporting, the pressure is mounting to address violence in Providence. Today, the mayor spoke to reporters about what leaders are doing to address crime. 12 News reporter Anita Buffoni joins us now with the details on what the mayor says he plans to do. Anita? Well, Shannon and Kim, the mayor of Providence is disputing the governor's claims the city has not accepted state police help to address the violence. He says state and Providence police held their first joint operation this weekend. Months of back and forth between Governor Dan McKee and Mayor Jorge Olorza continued Friday. The mayor, without offering specifics, says the state police are already helping to fight crime in the capital city, calling the governor's repeated offers odd. It just, it just strikes me as either he is being disingenuous or he doesn't know what his own police department is doing. While on a pre-planned vacation, Alorza told reporters the offer to have the state police neighborhood response team won't be effective. The mayor is looking for state resources to go toward tackling illegal ATVs and dirt bikes. Uh, they operate uh, very dangerously. Both agencies are in constant communication about their collaboration with one focus on the ongoing ATV issue, says Public Safety Commissioner Stephen Parry. We'll take their offer of assistance in trying to combat this scourge of ATVs that are running in and around the city. The Providence City Council is holding a special session next week looking to get a clear plan of how to combat the violence. The mayor says public safety officials will participate in that meeting. We'll continue to leverage what we can from the state police to end this cycle. Now, the back and forth between the mayor and governor has a political undertone as the two are likely to face off for the state's top job next year. I'm Anita Buffoni, 12 News. The ATV attack is just the latest violent incident province police are dealing with. Our Anita Buffoni joins us with how Mayor Jorge Alorza is responding to the crime tonight. Anita. Shannon, well, the mayor said state police and Providence police held their first joint operation last weekend, disputing the governor's claims the city never accepted the state agency's help. After mounting pressure to do more to address the recent violence in Providence, Mayor Jorge Olorza outlined what the city is doing. This includes a collaboration with the Rhode Island State Police. Our police chiefs have been in, in conversation uh, regularly, and in fact, the joint operations have already begun. Governor Dan McKee has offered the state police neighborhood response team, but Alorza says that won't be effective. Instead, the mayor, who's on a pre-planned family vacation, says they'd like additional resources to help crack down on illegal ATVs and dirt bikes. And they're a threat to public safety. The recent violence has prompted city council members to write to the governor asking for state police help. Those requests and the governor's offers are being called odd by the mayor. He says the partnership has begun. The governor needs to be informed as to what his own police department is doing. The council also set a special meeting next week to get the city's plan to address the crime, something the mayor says public safety officials will attend. I can assure you that the resources from the state police will continue to be used in targeting violence. And it's worth noting this all has a political backdrop as Mayor Alorza is likely to run against McKee for governor next year. I'm Anita Buffoni, 12 News.